Good morning, YouTube. After two weeks of recording between Texas and Florida, I finally started editing the footage, only to realize that my microphone jack and my video camera got completely fried when it got very wet during a rainstorm. It still records audio, but it's just painful to listen to, and you, you probably got a taste of it in last week's video. Anywho, the scene in front of you is at Cape San Blas in beautiful Florida. The structure behind me is a remnant of a lighthouse that has since been moved, and I really love scenes like this, and I felt that it was going to be perfect for a black and white image at midday. I had originally scoped the scene during low tide and had planned to shoot a 6x17. That format would have worked perfectly for this scene. However, this was my last day to shoot on the trip and it was high tide and therefore I didn't have the same access that I did during low tide and I opted for a simpler square crop scene with the Hasselblad 501CM. I want to focus on the receding water meeting the corner of the fence and capturing those reflections left by the receding water. I really wanted a high contrast scene which is why I shot midday and I'm going to shoot several of these frames with a red filter just to really maximize that contrast. But that's enough jibber jabber, let's see how this looks on the ground glass. Using the Hasselblad is so easy. You take out the film cartridge and you load the film until your arrows align here and then simply pop the cartridge right back in. Pull out your dark slide, pop it in the back here. And then the best part about this camera is when you open up to 2.8, you can see how bright the scene is for focusing and then I can confirm focus by popping up the mirror and really zooming into those details to make sure we've nailed focus. In this case, I'm focusing on these nearest fence posts and then stopping down to F11. As you can see, this time of day, we have quite a bit of dynamic range. That sun is directly overhead, and we have very bright highlights in the sky and very deep shadows where that fence is blocking the light up against those pillars. I metered the shadows at 1 15th of a second and my highest highlights up in the sky at 1 500th of a second. I wasn't as worried about the highlights, I wanted to make sure I had all that shadow detail. So I metered 1 15th in the shadows, backed off two stops, putting those shadows in zone 3 at 1 60th of a second, pushing my highlights to zone 8, which I was completely fine with. And I'm going to lock up the mirror. And wait for that wave to come in. Right there. Perfect. At this point, as you can see, I'm about halfway through the roll and I'm attaching my red filter to the front of the lens. My hope here was that I was going to bring out a lot more contrast in the scene, almost blackening that nice blue sky, and then getting even more contrast on the whites of the top of this pier here, almost letting them go to pure white. Now I use the Lee system, which is a 105 millimeter system, and although the filters are bigger and heavier, 
What I really like about this system is that I am able to use just one set of filters across all of my lenses and all of my camera systems. In this case, I'm attaching an adapter that goes from bayonet 60 to 82 millimeters, and then attaching that 82 millimeter adapter to the Lee system. And because my filters that are 105 millimeters, I really have no risk of vignetting. Even though I'm using a normal lens here at 80 millimeters, even if I were to go to wider, having that very wide diameter filter means I have a much lower chance of vignetting. But now that I popped on the red filter, I'm gonna back off four stops. So we're going from 1 60th of a second to a quarter of a second. Mirrors locked up. And on this one, I'm gonna wait for a wave coming in just to get that blurred water right at the front edge of the image. Right there. Perfect. Okay, so I ended up changing composition for the last two frames, uh, but because of the audio issues, I figured instead of showing you that in the field, I would just show you the negatives. Now, this is where we started our roll, and here's how we finished. I wanted to point something out. You might have heard and caught when I was um, exposing with the red filter, I said I was going to reduce the exposure, or increase the exposure by four stops, sorry. My yellow filter is one stop, my orange is two, and my red is three, and in my brain, <laughs> I doubled, went one, two, four, instead of one, two, three. So I actually added an extra stop of exposure. So you can see here where we transitioned from the um, no filter to the red filter. And you'll notice that the sky doesn't really change that much. And that's because of the change in exposure. Now, when we look at the shadow details here, you can see exactly what I was saying in the field, that this was obviously the darkest part of our image. And we have really nice detail in here. And I'm actually glad that I added that extra stop on the red filter because our highlights still look good. And adding that extra little bit of time gave me really nice smooth water here. And I love the reflections with the water receding across. And I actually think this frame is gonna be my favorite. The other composition that I wanted to show you is what I shot at the very end. And this is just of the detail of the fence and the concrete. And this is something I caught as I was walking away. I thought I would save the other two frames for something else, but I really liked this composition and the texture and detail in the fence was really nice. So I went ahead and burned the two frames, this one without a filter and this one with the red filter. So when we look at our exposure, this one has the red filter and you can see that in our shadows, we have that really nice detail and just the slightest bit of reflection of the fence posts and the pier in that receding water. Now this is my favorite shot without a filter. I really love the leading line of the foam from the receding wave bringing us into the image and the reflection of the fence posts and the concrete in that receding water and the balance of the image is just perfect to me and then this is the composition that i mentioned that i used last two frames on and as i mentioned i really like the detail in these posts and the amount of contrast that you get from the light hitting on the left side and falling into shadow behind the posts and i'm really happy to see that all that shadow detail has been retained without blowing out any highlights so i think that this is also one that i'm going to want to see but I just got some fresh chemistry from Photographer's Formulary. Let's go ahead and mix up some developer and make a contact sheet and see what these look like.
Okay, well here are the final images. It's funny because as I was looking at the negatives, I really thought that I would prefer the ones with the red filter. And you could see here how there is a one stop difference between the exposures because of where I goofed. It's still okay, I can adjust for this while printing. But as I look at the um, prints, I really think that this is my favorite of the ones uh, of this composition. I really like this leading line and I like the reflections here. And I actually like how when you look at the foreground versus the sky, the foreground is darker and the sky is a little bit lighter. When you look at the one with the red filter, you'll see that the foreground and the sky are almost the same. So I think I actually do prefer the um, tones in this image. What I will say is the soft water in this one just doesn't work for me. I thought that it would look nice with the reflections. I thought we'd get more reflection, but because of the way um, when I shot this image, it was the wave was on its way in. This was all water that had been resting for a while and actually has a really nice reflection. And then you get this nice sharp leading line, which I really like. And I like the water hitting the fence here. So I think this is gonna be the image that I print um, from this series. And then in terms of the second set of compositions, I really, really like these shots. Um, this one here underexposed a bit. So I think I'll go here with this one. Um, and I just think that this is gonna be a really nice compliment. What I'll do is I will print this image in the correct orientation. I had the um, negative sheet flipped when I made this contact sheet. So the concrete should be on the right side. So when I print it, I'll print this one correctly, but I will actually print this one in this orientation. And then I will have the two images framed side by side and they'll complement each other well. On this one, you'll have the concrete on the left and the water on the right. And that would hang on the wall on the left side. And then this one would hang on the right side with the concrete on the right and the water in the middle. And this way you have water in the middle and the two concrete structures on either side. Overall, this is exactly what I had envisioned and I am very, very happy with the results. A little bit bummed about the red filter here. Um, kind of a bonehead error. These are still very printable, um, but I just don't like the water. And I think if I had uh, backed off that um, one more stop, I think the water would have a little bit more definition and overall would make for a more pleasing image. But I'm very, very happy with this shot here and maybe even this one here. I'll have to go back and forth. I think I prefer this line. But either way, uh, next week I'll be doing a video 6x17 from a similar location, totally different subject. We'll go ahead and do the same process where we review the negatives and make a contact sheet. And then over the next couple of weeks, I want to start printing both this negative and the 6x17 here in the dark room. And then, of course, we need to do some mounting and framing. But let me know what you think of the images. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. Otherwise, I will see you next week. I hope you have a fantastic weekend. I get out there and make some images. <laughs>